Hi, so my name is Jacqueline, um, and I am married for four and a half years. I have two small dogs. Um, I recently left my job of four and a half years as a caseworker for a young mother's program in foster care. Um, so far, I'm enjoying my placement. I just finished week two. I'm working at a lot in Fishkill, which is a nursing home. Um, it's also rehabilitation, so we have short-term and long-term um, care, and we also have a lockdown dementia unit. When I first started, I was really nervous about the lockdown dementia unit. I have no experience working with um, geriatric pa pa patients, elderly patients. Um, I've only ever worked for teens for seven and a half years, so... It was all new to me. I wasn't so nervous about working on any of the other units, but really nervous to be working on the dementia unit. Um, I work with a great team. So my field instructor, her name is Jeanette. Um, she has many years experience working with youth, um, but she's been working with this population for the past um, three years. She's wonderful. She's taught me a lot. She's extremely outgoing. Um, one thing that I really like is she'll just walk up and down the hall. She'll say hello to all of the patients, including ones that aren't hers. Um, she's also into touch. And I don't mean, what I mean is like she'll put her hand like on their shoulder. She'll, um, you know, touch their hands to kind of help comfort the patients. And the patients seem to really enjoy that. Um, the supervisor is Michelle Aiello. Um, and she has, I believe, 15 or 20 years of experience in this field. Um, she has a lot of knowledge. She does everything from intakes to discharges to taking care of complaints, meeting with families, care planning, treatment teams, um, everything. So last week, I basically spent one day walking around the units trying to meet patients. Um, they've kind of assigned me five patients to really make sure I go to all of their meetings, pay close attention to. Um, so that was pretty cool, trying to understand um, how the system works. So they have a thing called an MDS, um, which is on the computer, um, and that's where all of the information is entered from all of the different departments, including social service, nursing, psych, um, which is is good because you can read it. What I've been learning is is the patient's files are sometimes difficult to understand and that's because number one, it's in medical terminology, which I don't have any experience and I'm, I'm trying my best to learn. And the second is sometimes people's handwriting is not neat and it's not easily understood. Um, so that's been a little difficult. I have started doing what they call BIMS, um, which if you don't know what they are, um, it's an assessment. So it kind of goes over simple questions that you can ask the patient um, if they're able to re uh, communicate with you. Like, how are you feeling? Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling lonely? How's your appetite? Are you sleeping well? Do you watch TV? Um, it's a list of, of questions. And then what we do is we can either speak with a nurse or a nurse supervisor or look in their file under nursing to see what kind of behaviors they have. Do they scream? Do they yell? Do they wander? Um, have they gotten in altercations with other patients? And we would fill that out on a section. And then on the back of it, it's uh, like a mini mental. So we give three words, uh, blue bed and sock, and we have them repeat it back to us. Um, we also ask the month, the year, the day of the week it is, and then also ask for those three words at the end. Um, what's been pretty interesting is on all the other units that I've done these, um, the patients can respond. You know, it's pretty easy and simple for them. On the dementia unit, um, many of the patients are nonverbal, which makes it very difficult. So when a patient is nonverbal, it becomes a 99, um, which means they're not able to do the assessment. But the mini mental is has been quite interesting because many patients will tell me it's 1917 or 1940. Um, and you just kind of have to go with the flow is what I'm learning. You can't say, no, nope, that's not the correct year. You're just going to say, okay, so you know, what is 1917 like? Um, 
so that's been very different with the dementia unit, but it is one unit after two weeks that I'm really starting to love and, and the patients and the nurses um, learning a lot about dementia has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I try and go down multiple times during the day um, because different patients at different times of the day have different behaviors. Um, so some patients are great in the morning, but then around three o'clock, what they call is sundowners, they start to show signs of significant behavior. So in the morning, you could go down and a patient can be very happy and kind and want to engage in conversation, wants to be um, involved, whether with the other residents, watching TV or doing activities. You could go back four hours later and they are cursing everybody out, screaming, um, asking why you did something. And I've been trying to do some research on how to deal with dementia pa patients when they start to get upset or get angry. And the biggest thing that I've learned is just be with them in their reality. So if they say, well, my mommy wants me to go home or I'm trying to cross the street, be with them at that moment um, instead of fighting with them. So I'm hoping to learn um, a lot more. I've attended a couple of care plans, which kind of just goes over their overall behavior. Um, what's been going on? How are they eating? How's rehab, OT, PT, um, which is physical therapy and occupational therapy, in, in case you don't know. Um, the whole team goes. It's interesting to kind of see how the families react. Um, today, I went to my first discharge meeting, which was um, very interesting to see the process. Um, one thing that I'm concerned about is just when a patient passes that I've known or have been working with. Um, I've never dealt with the death of a client, so that will be something I'm learning. Um, I will learn actually how to do, but I'm excited to share my experiences with you over the next uh, 30 weeks. Nice meeting all of you. Good night.